Hey everybody, Aaron here from Comic Booked with uh, another unpackaging, unboxing, I don't know. I've got some Innistrad, uh, one Innistrad Crimson Bow Collector Booster, one Kaldheim Collector Booster, one Innistrad Midnight Hunt Collector Booster, and finally one Brothers War Collector Booster for Magic. So all of these, um, you know, they always have some good stuff, but this one... This one could have a serialized card or a shattered glass transformer foil card, which would pay for all the cards that I bought for Magic for the last, you know, couple months. So that would be awesome. But we'll open that last. Okay, of course. So we'll start with the Innistrad Crimson Bow. Okay, Let's see what we get here. So. My local comic shop had these boosters for uh, these and these and this one for 10 bucks a piece. Pretty good. So um, definitely worth picking up just to have the the full art cards, the uh, the foils. You know, uh, chances of some some good rare cards. So first off is a boar and a blood token. That's cool. And then uh, we'll go through. So, Vampire's Kiss foil, these are commons, you know. Still cool looking. Adam at Will foil. Um, Cruel Witness foil. Just about threw it on the floor. Uh, Ragged Recluse. And Ragged Recluse flips over to be Odious Witch on the back. I know some people like that. Uh, very Valorous Stance is one of our uncommon foils. Also, Mischievous Cat Geist. I have a couple of those here at home. And they flip to be Cat-like Curiosity. And beautiful full art foil planes. I love the artwork from these sets. Really nice. Our first rare foil is Hamlet Vanguard. So one one for three with ward two, and then uh, enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it for each other non-token human you control. He's a human warrior, but still wouldn't be bad in one of the uh, soldier decks that are out right now, the big ones. Our first full art card is Ethereal Investigator. Three and a blue for a two three flyer. Um, when it enters the battlefield, investigate X number of times where X is the number of opponents you have. Whenever you draw your second card, each turn create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. And this is one of the commander cards. You can see by the symbol here on the side. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hey, a staple in any life gain deck right now. Um, yeah, come on, Voice of the Blessed, full art. Two white for a 2-2. Two -two. When you gain life, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. As long as the Voice of the Blessed has four or more plus one plus one counters on it, that's Flying and Vigilance. If it has ten or more, it is indestructible. Pretty nice. Our, uh, our first, um, this is pretty cool, Markov Purifier, Vampire Cleric. Very nice uh, showcase card, I guess they're called. And then we have... Blood Petal Celebrant for another showcase. Common, still. And then we have our Dracula card, and our Dracula card is Renfield, Delusional Minion, who is actually Aerith, Tormented Prophet. Um, it's one, a blue, and a red for a 2 4. If you would draw a card, exile the top two cards of your library instead, and you can play those cards this turn. It's nice. Uh, Voldaren Epicure is a foil showcase, and our final full art foil is a, a nice rare one drop hopeful initiate with training two and a white, remove two plus one plus one counters from among creatures you control, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Very nice now. All right, that was cool. Let's go to Innistrad Midnight Hunt. We have the vampires, now we have the werewolves. Let's see what we get definitely an easier pack to open. That other one was tough. And we have a vampire token. Pretty cool artwork there. And then a zombie token on the back. Alright. 
So we start out with a Crossroads Candle Guide, Common, Otherworldly Gaze, Soul Guide Griff, and these, you know, these are foils and they're pretty, they're common, so I'm not going to spend too much time on them. And then Morning Apparition, Loyal Griff, another Griff, lots of Hippogriffs here. And Covert Cut Purse is our last, is our first uncommon, uh, and that flips over to be Covetous Geist. Alright, so that was cool, and then we got a beautiful Full Art Island card. Foily. And our first foil rare is Storm the Festival. Three colorless, three green. Look at the top uh, five cards of your library. You may put the top two permanent cards from the with mana value five or less from among them on the battlefield. Put the rest in the bottom of your library, and then you can flash it back for seven and three green. Let's see if I can get that to come into focus for you. Sorry. There we go. I am working on getting a new laptop. Hopefully that'll help with some of the focus issues. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, our first full art rare as uh, one of the commander cards. Curse of the Restless Dead. Two and a black enchant player. Whenever a land enters a battlefield under enchanted player's control, you create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decayed. That's kind of neat. Croaking Counterpart. Another full art rare. Uh, one... Uh, green and a white, you create a token that's a copy of target non-frog creature except it's a 1-1 one, one green frog and it has flashback. Then we have a couple of flip cards for our showcase. Um, Tireless Hauler which turns into Dire Strain Brawler. Uh, Shady Traveler which turns into Stalking Predator. And then, oh, we have a uh, we have a mythic showcase card, Jaren, Corrupted Bishop. This is much cooler artwork than the other one. I like this one better. Two and a black. He's a two three. Uh, when he enters a battlefield or another non-token human that you control dies, you lose a life and you create a one one white human creature token. You spend two uh, and target human you control gains life link till the end of the turn. At the beginning of your end step, if you have exactly thirteen life, you may pay. Four and two black. If you do, transform Jaren into Ormondal the Corrupter. So he's secretly a demon in disguise, right? He's a devil in disguise. That's a song. Uh, legendary creature demon, flying, trample, lifelink, sacrifice another creature, draw a card. And he's a 6-6, six, six, of course, because they all are a 6-6. Six, six. And a foil is Tireless Hauler. This time a foil. And our final card, full art showcase version of Ludovic. Necro Genius. Genius. Uh, one blue, one black. Two, three. Whenever Ludovic Necro Genius enters a battlefield or attacks, mill a card. Spend X, two black, two blue. Exile X creature cards from your graveyard. Transform Ludovic. X can't be zero. Activate only as a sorcery. And then he comes into play as Olog, Ludovic's Hubris. Legendary creature zombie. As this creature transforms into Olog, Ludovic's Hubris. It becomes a copy of a creature card exiled with it, except its name is Olog Ludovic's Hubris. It's 4-4. Four, four. It's a legendary blue and black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Put a plus one, a number of plus one, plus one counters on Olog equal to the number of creature cards exiled with it. Not too bad. All right. So that's our zombies and, and vampires and werewolf stuff. Um, some neat cards, a couple decent mythics, some pretty little tokens. So we'll set those aside, and we'll go to Kaldheim, Land of the Giants, Norse mythology-ish kind of thing. So I don't know really out of this set um, what I'm looking for necessarily. There are some really nice the tokens, beautiful art, human warrior, and a shapeshifter. Um, and then we'll go through uh, Farfell or Carfell, Kennelmaster, Common. Uh, Roots of Wisdom, Common, I put it in front of my face, I think that's what does this, Get it, keep it from focusing on my face, Bound in Gold, nice enchantment that shuts down your opponent's creatures, uh, Raven Wings, 
equipped for flying. Disdainful stroke. Send it back to the graveyard by countering it. Um, return upon the tide. Oh, sorry. Return upon the tide is a sorcery. Return target creature from graveyard to the battlefield. If it's an elf, create two one one green elf or your creature tokens, and you can foretell it. Reduce the casting cost by one. Um, a foil, full or foil, just a regular foil. Uh, car door doom scourge. It's cool looking in foil. It's nice and shiny. Uh, beautiful foil snow swamp, snowy and swampy. Um, our first card. I don't really see any difference in this, but um, Fridge's Ret Retribution. This is um, uh, the angel thing. Gets you a 4-4 angel warrior creature token of flying. Next turn, uh, you can use your angels to destroy creatures with power less than their power. And then angels can you control double strike until end of turn. So that's cool. Uh, full Art to Bolt's Trickery. I was just thinking about this card again today because with all of the um, zero casting cost stuff that just came out in... Um, Brothers War, then you've got some more options. You got Ornithopters, you got Mistress Bobble, you got uh, Amber Mox, uh, some stuff like that that you can use with Tybalt's Trickery, so you don't have to just rely on Tormod's Crypt and um, the uh, that one uh, dragon or snake or whatever it is, a serpent, um, to play that. Play a zero casting cost artifact, you Tybalt's Trickery it, and then you search for something bigger um, and put that into play. Uh, Icebreaker Kraken is a foil that we got out of here. Very nice. It's a fun card. I always wanted to play this because it does cost one less for each snow land you control. So, you know, you have five or six snow lands in play. You play with uh, maybe blue green, throw out some more snow lands, and then you can uh, play this cheaper. Much cheaper. So, uh, we've got Cole the Forge Master. Oops. Okay. Cole the Forge Master, uncommon showcase card. Um, We've got Birgi or Bergi or Birgi, God of Storytelling. And then on the back is the Horn, um, Harnfell, Horn of Bounty. Uh, we've got uh, another card or Doom Scourge foil this time. And our mythic at the end is Torolf, God of Fury. Torolf is a 5-4 Trampler for 4. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess non-combat damage, Torolf deals damage equal to the excess to any target other than that permanent. Nice. And on the back side, you can play him as Torolf's Hammer. Two cast and cost equipped for 1 and a red. An equipped creature has 1 and a red tap. Unattached Torolf's Hammer, it deals 3 damage to any target. Return Torolf's Hammer to its owner's hand. An equipped creature gets plus three, plus zero, as long as it's legendary. So it's like Thor's hammer, Torolf's hammer, you know. Uh, all right. Now, to the main event. Let's see what we get in this pack. Is there a serialized card in here? Is there? Huh, huh, please, please, maybe. Or a shattered glass foil transformer. We shall see. And I do have a couple boxes of this uh, coming, so... Maybe another unboxing, one more. I'm not sure if I want to do that or if I want to hang on to them. Nice foil power stone token with an elemental on the back. Okay. And let's see. Scrap work rager. Foils are neat, are nice looking, you know. Null root pallbearer. And these are all foil. I know it's hard to see the foil on them sometimes, but um, moment of defiance. Plus one, plus plus two, plus one, and life link to the end of turn. Plus you get to draw a card. Can't beat that. Coilos Rock, nice little flash in three three flyer, and gives you a, a tapped Power Stone token. If you're playing with those. Combat Threshers, a fun card. Seven casting cost for a three three with double strike, and when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Otherwise, you can spend uh, two and a white, and you get a 1-1 one, one with double strike, and when it enters, you draw a card. So, not bad. Thopter Mechanic is an uncommon. And a foil. And I threw it on the floor. Awesome. It'll stay there. 
Um, nice foil, full art island. Very nice. Our first rare is, is a rare uh, foil is Tyrant of Kerr Ridges. This is a nice card. I, I do like this one. It does cost six, but it's a four five with flying. And when it enters a battlefield, it does six damage to any target. Plus, then you can pump it up with one red to give it plus one plus oh. So you can do that multiple times. It's very nice. All right. Next up is the Simeon Simulacrum. Three casting costs, two one. When it enters a battlefield, you put two plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. And then you can unearth it for four, or two and two green. So that's a great card. There's a Windcaller Automaton. Woodcaller, sorry, Woodcaller Automaton. 10 casting cost, 8-8. Eight, eight. When it enters a battlefield, if you cast it on tap target land you control, it becomes a tree folk creature with haste and base power and toughness equal to Woodcaller Automaton's power and toughness. It's still a land. Or you can spend 2 and 2 green and get a 3-3 three, three with a 3-3 three, three land creature. So That's cool. It's a full art. Um, foily, Mistress Bobble. Nothing exciting there. We got Burnished Heart. And Thorn of Amethyst. But it's not a foil, but we did get Another Shattered Glass, Slicer, Hired Muscle, Shattered Glass card. It's very nice. And then on the back, it's Slicer, High Speed Antagonist, Shattered Glass. So we did get a Shattered Glass card. We did not get a Serialized card. And our final Full Art Foil is Transmogrant's Crown. Nice little Skull Clamp. Two casting cost. Equip Creature gets plus 2 plus 0. Oh. And whenever a equipped creature dies, draw a card. You equip it for two or a black. Nice card. And then a foil, full art. Very nice. All right, that's it. So um, we got the full, we got the uh, shattered glass card, not a foil. Uh, we got the foil transmogrant's crown. We got a rare uh, uh, thorn of amethyst. And we got the woodcaller automaton and simian, simian simulacrum and the tyrant of courageous. So not bad. Uh, but, you know. Ever hopeful, I will still open some more of these packs, um, and I'll let you know. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your mom, whoever. Tell people to come and watch, uh, just because, you know, I like people watching me. Um, so please uh, check out our website, comicbook.com, as well, for more content in the future. But definitely check out the, our, our uh, comic book YouTube page. we got a ton of, of uh, videos up. Uh, new stuff uh, every week, at least a few uh, videos every week. All right, thanks for watching.